Welcome to the Animal Park in Rocky Mountain. We've got Alex Langley and Michelle Benton. Michelle, you are a volunteer and a big dog lover, right? Enthusiast. <laughs> Enthusiast, okay. And Alex, you're with Parks and Recreation. Yes. And we were here about a year ago with the unveiling of this wonderful, wonderful dog park. And I believe at that time, y'all told me this, this is one of the biggest on the eastern coast of the U.S., right? Yes. It's, um, by our calculations, we can't necessarily, we stay away from saying the biggest in the state, mm -hmm. because some of them we've seen as far as acreage, but we do, I think it may be one of the, it may be the biggest fenced in area, but mm -hmm. it's definitely one of the biggest in the state and on the eastern part of the year. Okay. And, and how, has the, how has it been utilized in the last year? Well. It's been extremely utilized. I Good. think our, our numbers are growing uh, all the time. I know Michelle is here a lot with, um, and, and they, I think we have, we've got like a, an underground dog park community. <laughs> well, I'm just amazed by every time I come, I end up meeting somebody new. Uh -huh. And um, I have just found this trend or this pattern of these younger new people who are just married or just new jobs and and, and in the area, and this is like their first child, their first dog, mm -hmm. and they're out here, and it's good to see that young energy. Um, I think one of the best stories I had is leaving a couple weeks ago on a Monday night, and an older couple had come in, and we were talking dogs. This is what we do, and, mm -hmm. and it's really fantastic because all diversities come, everybody comes, and all it is is about the dog. Mm -hmm. And um, so we share our stories about our dog, but this one couple had shared a story with me saying about how, you know, they, they were here s their first seven years of their life. And I was confused by that. I said, it's only been open for a year. <laughs> how can you be here the first seven years of your life? And they were a couple who graduated college and moved into the apartment complex that was here. And literally their oh, front door was Riverside. at the entrance yes. uh -huh. of the dog park. And so this dog park was land that was lost in the flood, the uh -huh. apartment complex and their memory. And that has brought back a great memory for them. And, um, you know, people will say it's the best thing that happened to Rocky Mountain. This was one couple that they are now sharing this facility the same facility they moved to and they started their marriage with over 30 years ago. Can you tell me they took you back to the exact spot that it was Exactly. At? They'll wow. tell you where the post <laughs> is with the, with the disposable bags is right where their front door was. Wow. And went into the many stories of the friends in Rocky Mount that um, lived around them and who are all really um, involved members of our community. Mm -hmm. And um, so this brings back a lot of memories for you know, we're relatively new to the area. I have relocated with Ben the New Country Club. And my husband works for the city of Rocky Mount. And um, we are a childless couple, and our four-legged creatures are our mm -hmm. children. So um, this has been a warm welcome for us um, in the community, a great way for us to meet people. Um, the name of the park itself, Best Friend Dog Park, will just tell you um, mm -hmm. that it, it shares this communal um opportunity for us who are just enthusiastic about our dogs, a little bit of exercise and outside. And the dogs enjoy it a lot. I mean, dogs enjoy other dogs and playing with them. And I've heard a lot of people who have only dogs. I mean, this is a great place to come to for some recreation and, and dog interaction. But there's a new part that's been added. Alex, you want to tell us the agility yes. portion? Yes. Um, when we first started, we, we knew that we wanted to add, we wanted three parts. Mm -hmm. And it was thinking, you know, small, little, medium, but also at the same time, adding another part, sometimes you can close another one to let, to let turf regrow. Mm -hmm. But we knew that we also wanted to additional exercise stuff, agility, of course, mm -hmm. like you're saying. And yeah, we, we've added, since last year, we opened up, what, April 11th last year, mm -hmm. with the two parts. And then since that time, we've added a third part. It's, uh, it's got a seven-piece agility course where the, it's uh, run through a tunnel, going through poles, <laughs> jumping up and going up and down mm -hmm. it's just an additional additional opportunity for more exercise mm -hmm. and you know i was reading some articles and stuff yesterday uh, or the other day for talking about dog park stuff and a lot of times some people may just come sit and let the dog run but if you can do give us some structured exercise as well you know because those that um 
older dogs that continue to climb more. Mm -hmm. You know, by uh, I was reading that when you go you climb downstairs or just normal walking on the ground, mm -hmm. it, it doesn't do as much for your like your legs and mobility stuff. and all. Yeah. But when you do going up, a lot of these uh, apparatuses are up and down. That kind of stuff actually can studies have proven that it kind of helps with arthritis mm -hmm. later on in dogs and stuff like that. Because that was really interesting. Really. Mm -hmm. and going back to something you said. Uh, a lot of younger couples are waiting, and some that don't have kids, but couples are just waiting longer than that period. Mm -hmm. So that's a, all that kind of stuff is what I was reading, and it's just, it's really fascinating mm -hmm. you know, as far as the, the communities and stuff. And you, know, you and I have been talking about how we got, this kind of falls on what is known as our Pearl River Trail here in town. So, and then you've got the, the meal project that's starting up with mm -hmm. Koi Pond and Sweet Taters. It's to the point now where you can almost come down here, you can park, you can take your dog to the dog park, then you can walk down there through the trail. To the mill. To the mill. Oh, good. They, or you can go there, eat, and you come down here, uh -huh. and you get out of your car one time. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of the, with all the stuff we're doing here uh, with Sunset Park and City Lake and stuff, kind of having that, um, just that able to move around, that's really what part of our vision when it comes to that nature. Mm -hmm. And it, how much is fencing? I mean, is the majority of it so people can come and feel really good about the safety of their animals running around in there too? Yes. I mean, it's, uh, I think it's right about 12 acres of fenced in area. Right. Mm -hmm. And they have to be spayed, or, or they have to have rabies shots, right? Yes. They have to be spayed or neutered before they can come, I guess. No, but a, dog, watch a dog in heat should not be here. Right. And I mean, all, uh, all that stuff is for a first time visitor. Uh -huh. That stuff is posted mm -hmm. as you walk in the door. Sometimes it gets gets walked by, but like mm -hmm. you talked about, you got to be at least six months of a certain age, six months, I think, for a puppy. Mm -hmm. Because at some point, like Lauren and talking about, um, or we'll be talking about later, mm -hmm. is that immune systems are not quite ready in younger dogs. Mm -hmm. So they got to do that, can't be in heat. And all the parvo and all those shots have exactly. to be done all the sequence. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to talk about the sixth annual policy in the park. There is just tons of stuff going on. The times are from 10 to 2, Saturday, April 9th at, Pest, at Best Friends Dog Park. And, and we've even, even the governor has been invited. And we're going to be talking about a, a special tribute to Tyler Strandberg, who was a, a beloved young lady who grew up in this area. So stay with us. When we come back, we're going to meet a bunch of dogs, beautiful little dogs that you'll probably will tug at your heartstrings. And then we're going to end up with giving you all the details and the fun things that are be happening on April 9th. Stay with us. Hi, I'm Richard Koss, pharmacy manager at Almond's Drugstore at the Westridge Shopping Center. Here with my wife, daughters, and my business partner, Brad Hilton, and his wife, Katie. We are delighted to be new business owners living in Rocky Mount and are excited about the new services and products we are adding at Almond's Drug Store's two locations. With a full-service pharmacy, a large supply of over-the-counter supplements, and a comprehensive line of diabetic supplies, Almond's has you covered. Our pharmacists also specialize in consultations. We want you to pay the lowest prices and get the best service in town, and our staff works hard to help you save money, but we are also big on friendliness and customer care. We will deliver your prescriptions free, have drive through windows, and guarantee short wait times. And we come out to greet you personally and see how we can answer all of your questions. Because as local business owners, we care about you. As a loyal member of your community for over 70 years, you can count on Almond's Drugs to make the health of you and your family our top priority. Please call Almond's Drugs today. 443-3138. Welcome back. We are here with um, Gene and everybody else. We're talking about the <laughs> Paws in the Park. And we actually have one of our local nonprofit rescue groups with us, Friends of Rocky Mount Animals, and Laura Gearhart, the uh, executive director, or how do you want to, how do you pronounce your title? That works. That works. <laughs> and Jennifer. Yes. They are both here with us, and they actually are one of our vendors for Paws in the Park. And they have, uh, actually, they do a wonderful job. We've got some of their adoptable puppies here with us today and you'll be able to speak with them the day of as well if you're interested in but we're actually taking this time to kind of highlight what they do and we're actually going to do some stuff and meet some of these dogs. Laura first off will you um can
can you start off just kind of tell us a little bit about Rock, Friends of Rocky Mountain Animals and kind of what you do here in the community? Well, we started about 14 years ago. We started by going to the City of Rocky Mountain Animal Shelter, getting them on the website, taking pictures of their animals and promoting their animals. Then we moved into getting them to work on doing reduced cost rabies clinics. Then we worked on changing ordinance so they have mandatory spay neuter for the shelter. So any animal adopted out of the city of Rocky Mountain Animal Shelter is now mandatory spay neuter. We yeah. offer spay neuter programs for individuals in the community. We have our senior citizen programs and a few other reduced cost programs and some other programs that we have in the city to help with the cost of spaying and neutering. We also then pull animals into our homes and we find uh, forever homes for these animals. So we work on trying to get the animals out of the shelter, finding homes for the animals that we have, and spaying and neuter everything we can get our hands on. <laughs> and you, were you big, pretty big in the, um, the a new animal shelter? You were involved a lot with that, helping? Oh, yeah. You were, yeah. I haven't been in there yet. Is it really? You haven't? Uh-uh. Oh, you have to come down. It's really, really nice. They have heated floors back there for the dogs. They had a brand new flooring put in that was donated by two individuals locally here. Mm -hmm. um, they have a very nice, the new coating on the floor. It's heated and air, warm, heated floors. Ooh. They have more room back there. It's really, really nice. They have inside, outside meet and greet areas. They have a huge area for the cattery. Um, they have, it's just overall, I mean, you walk in, there's a huge 60 inch screen TV there that rotates the pictures of the animals that we take <laughs> so that you can see the animals. <laughs> Without actually ever going fans, back, all of that. Oh, they right. all throw through anything. Yeah. Claws, cats, dogs. You can see it anytime you go in there. Even community events. Yep. Because the paws in the park. Yeah, I was all that stuff as well. Oh, right. Yeah. I was wondering with the TV, if you were playing TV for the dogs, that was something <laughs> I wanted to They all show by when you come in, that way uh -huh. you see what we have back there in the shelter. That way you don't have to actually go back. Some people are like, oh, uh -huh. so, you know, uh -huh. we can let them see everything. You know, they can take one out, we bring it up, they meet and greet, things like that. Well, and, every uh, one of these is adoptable, right? Yes, oh, yeah. Well, you these tell are us not at the city shelter, though. Oh, these they're not. Are our these are our foxes oh. in our home. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Well, this is just the cutest thing ever. Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, very calm, just a little puppy and just could not have been. What, does he have a name or she? Hey, is that Kale? Justine. 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 Okay. okay, tell us the names of each of the okay, dogs. I have Ken. He's a little Chawini mix, about eight months yeah. old. Chawini. Chawini. <laughs> yes, he's so cute. cute. Um, this is Kale. Yeah. Um, like a little Shih Tzu mix. Uh -oh. Two years old. Um, this is Katerina. Mm -hmm. That's She's a puppy. She's a lab, border collie. Setter, border collie mix. Like yeah, she's still a little baby. Okay. Uh -huh. um, she has Zeno. He's about eight months old. He has a vision problem, but he doesn't seem to slow him down nope, whatsoever. Not one bit. This is Cameron, eight weeks old, sibling to Ken. Yep. And that's Leo. He's about, uh, I think they're guessing somewhere right around two, the same age as Ken. Yeah. So which ones are siblings? This um, one? That, and that one, one, that one. They came in together. They okay. are bond. Yes, they're bonded. Oh, right. <laughs> they look kind of similar. They are the stuff at my house. They run it. <laughs> I'm going to give it a plug for shelter dogs. I mean, I hear, I, actually, we were with the, the Small Business Month winner was Riverside Veterinary Hospital. I was talking to Dr. Cameron, and he said the majority of the people who work there have shelter dogs. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And talked about they have fewer uh, problems, health problems and whatnot, because they're not inbred. But that's exactly what about right. your experience with adopted dogs? They, they really appreciate they you, They really they? do. We can bring them out, and they're just in a shell, and they're so scared, and they don't understand. And within a week or two's time, they're bouncing around, they're ready to go to their home, they're looking. You know, it's just, it's amazing to see their transformation from this little scared baby to we get them out. They're like, oh yeah, freedom ride. Mm -hmm. You know, and then, <laughs> you know, we get them adopted and this family's so happy and the kids are so happy. It, it makes, it makes them leaving a little bit better. Mm -hmm. It's hard, but it makes it so worthwhile. You know, it just, it just does. And how many, what, how big is the assortment that you would have available at any given time? Uh, we usually have somewhere right around 12 to 20. In depending our on homes. depending on what if we have puppies or, or sort of that sort of thing. Yeah. And a big plug: we need more foster homes. Please, <laughs> we can foster. Hit us up sometimes. You have a pretty um, very packed schedule by that. Like I think you and one time we talked you work with tractor supply. We go there one, uh, twice a month. The twice a month. Third Saturday of every month. Okay. We're there from nine until twelve. And. Yeah. You work with you work with like pet work. Are you, I, know, I know you work with other yes. pet well, businesses. We go to Petco, but Petco Petco? closed, mm -hmm. so that's why we have to do that one at Tractor Supply. Okay. We go to the shelter twice a week, every week at least, if not sometimes three oh. days a week, and take 
taking pictures of their animals to try to help promote here. You can't forget where you started. We started with taking pictures of the Rocky Mountain Animal Show. Right. Mm -hmm. so we're going to stay there and we continue to help promote their animals and help get them out and try to get more exposure to the city because more exposure means more animals out. We don't work 8 to 5 or 9 to 5. We work all day, every day, all night time, time weekend. And we're using Happy. the word work loosely here. None of us are paid. Yeah, mm -hmm. none of us are paid. This, this is, is all work. out of love for the animals right. and wanting to help the community and benefiting everybody locally. Yes, exactly right. And on the day, on the night, Saturday the night, mm -hmm. for Paws in the Park, you will be bringing a bunch of adoptable dogs. Is right. that correct? Any of these dogs that aren't adopted will be coming, and any additional dogs that we've picked up in the meantime. Mm -hmm. For you, I know. Uh, yours are not available on site because you have a specific uh, application process on the spot, exactly. on the spot. but you right. can they can talk with you right and kind of get you'll start getting information and right. then you do visits or and stuff if like your that. applications are already in and processed they can come that day and get the dog no they're on petfinder.com okay these are these are right these are on petfinder.com okay. yes sir and they're they can look us up that way on facebook for the rocky mountain animals which often have them down you mm -hmm. scroll through pick the one fill the application out and we just have a process to make sure they go to a lifetime home. And I was actually uh, mm -hmm. reviewing your website as I, we were trying to contact you. And you've got like an online store yep. for do and donations to the cause. So I guess you we all feel the donor. account. We have all that stuff. We have the walking app. Um, we also have the online store on our page, on our regular page, which is the 4 animals 2002com yep. site. Okay. You can find out all any information you need to know on that website. And what does somebody have to do to qualify to be a, a parent? Application to personal references and that reference in a home visit. And our dogs must be spayed or neutered. And and are they spayed and neutered when you let them go out? Oh, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. If and you I hold think some or rub some under bellies, most of these all have stitches in them. Yep. Uh, yep. And Riverside is going to be doing spayed and neutered the day of the of the event. So oh, that'll, that'll be great. great. That'd be great. That'd be great. great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we're going to take a break and we're going to come back and talk more about the actual event. But, ladies, thank you so much. No problem. Thank, thank you for having, having these beautiful oh. babies. I, I'm really tempted to get that little puppy I was holding. Those are beautiful <laughs> dogs. And as y'all know, um, nothing completes a family like a dog. I or mean, three of them. Like or that. three of them. And I think what Laura said about the rescue dogs, um, you know, I have two myself, and uh -huh. they're just special. They're just really, really that's special. I, yeah. so. they love, I think they love you more. I mean, I remember getting mine, and he, he was scared silly when I got him. And we've had a number of them at our house who adopted us. Um, but I just really encourage you, if you're thinking about getting an animal, um, go look at the rescue ones. They really need home. But let's jump right in. The sixth annual Paws in the Park and Agility Park Grand opening. Um, Michelle, jump in. What's going to be happening? Food, fun, all kinds of stuff? We'll be starting at 10 o'clock and help me, Alex. All right. <laughs> um, with a special dedication. And, um, and a dedication and by whom? The city for the park or what? Or for the, the second park? phase opening up. Okay. And um, then a shelter and bench will be be dedicated in the honor of Tyler mm -hmm. and um, then we that was donated by the Strandberg family mm -hmm. right correct right I think we're it's going to be the way it's set up for that first part is like we did big grand opening last year mm -hmm. so it'll be a big to do as far as the um, the grand opening of what is phase two is kind of the agility park and the shelter and all that mm -hmm. and the fence and, and the whole area mm -hmm. so it'll be a big to do as far as just we'll talk about responsible spent ownership the vision of the park and everything and then it'll go through the special dedication for tyler and then actually what we also plan to do is that we are bringing in another big thing is we're bringing in canines in flight like we did last year oh yeah they did a big performance uh-huh what we asked them to do is we want to do a, a small demo on mm -hmm. our agility park so oh, that good. it shows mm -hmm. it's getting used and mm -hmm. uh, there could be potential um thing about the day Maybe we'll do little time trials with uh, participants here, and they can. Get, we we got to really highlight the agility mm -hmm. portion of it. And, and dress up. Can people dress up their dogs? Is there a competition for that? Yes. Bring them all out. Dress up in clown costumes, or I think we've seen we've seen bikers. We've seen <laughs> Superman. Superman. <laughs> we've seen ballerinas. We've seen everything. Dogs are good sports. I so along, really good along sport. with the costume contest and the talent contest, there is also um, 25 plus vendors yes. as of right now. Mm -hmm. we, I think I did, the count today was 29, which is a record for the event. And what's, what's the variety of what they will have? Uh, we've got uh, pet businesses that are do, that are do groomers. We've got uh, 
Uh, spay and neuter. I know the veterinarian Riverside is going to do spay. Yeah, uh, rabies. 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 Uh, the, right. You can't do we spay actually, and neuter. We actually have three vets this year. Uh, Good. Martin vets get involved. Benvenue, Riverside, and also um, ben, Benfield is uh, here as well. But Good. Riverside has offered the opportunity for a reduced rate rabies clinic Wonderful. and microchipping. Oh, good. So you microchip your dog and it gets lost, uh -huh. they can find it and you're able to locate it. Uh -huh. And they're, they're really big on that and providing uh -huh. that. So vets, we talked about um, the groomers and uh, boarding places. We've got, a, got some very interesting ones as well. Mm -hmm. We've got a, uh, a craft, somebody who does pottery is coming in. Hmm. Uh, actually, specifically pet pottery. And food, I know Gray um, Whitehead is coming with his cross dogs. Cross dogs will He's be a here. great cook. So, mm -hmm. and, and a portion of all the food that people buy for that, and, and of course, during lunchtime. Uh, they had chocolate fleas or something last year they were showing everybody. I think that's what okay. he was thinking something that nature. <laughs> <laughs> but a portion goes back to, you know, to support um, his rescue. He's got deer, um, Down East Animal Rescue. Absolutely. That he does there and does a really good job with. and. Um, now, do people need to do anything other than come? They can go to your website. Talk about where they can get more information. Well, we have more information. You can uh, you can actually call you can call my personal line or my business line at uh, 252-972-1562. Mm -hmm. Or you also can go to the, our city website, which is www.rockymountnc.gov mm -hmm. slash parks slash paws dot html. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. a little bit long. Eventually, there's going to be a button on the main page for mm -hmm. the city. So go there, hit the button, and it'll take you to it. It shows you all our sponsors that we've got. We've got a, um, a bunch of organizations that are helping out with the sponsors, and they're, whether it's Target providing a bunch of volunteers, Riverside providing mm -hmm. the, um, the microchipping and the reduced rabies, to um, actually uh, Gray and Cross Dogs is a sponsor of the event. So they're, um, they went above and beyond just being a normal vendor for mm -hmm. the food truck. Down to uh, Pet's Best Friend is uh, mm -hmm. the... the the groomer, not the, the park here, actually, mm -hmm. the, the grooming service. Uh, the photographer. Susan Baker. And, Susan yeah. Baker, her, her uh -huh. group has got a, they're sponsoring our games, so they're going to do that for us. What and kind the, of games? The ones that she was talking about with the costume contest, we'll probably do a musical, and I was correct, I used to say musical chairs, but it's a musical sit. So, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I think we've talked about doing a, a biscuit throwing contest, uh -huh. things of that nature, down to, uh, we're still we're debating on doing a talent competition. But uh, they, they've signed on for that. Now, what kind of talent would you have if you did talent? I like that. That's kind of... We've had enough. That was how I first said Karaoke? Got, <laughs> that would be good. That's how I actually got started in the whole mm -hmm. event. Is I brought my dog and we won the talent competition. Uh, my little JJ, Jack Russell, won the talent competition. Uh -huh. And so from there I got excited about the event. And then John Battle and Ellen Matt. El, John has since retired. Uh -huh. And then the, kind of the, the event has kind of fallen under, under my lead. But Ellen Matthews, she still works with us. And that Michelle's come on. We got a really great team. Mm -hmm. uh, and great. It's been a. That's the really thing about the event is it's, it's one of the. It's one event that's a, a really good committee that works together, and I'm very honored to be involved with them because all of them are taking on different roles and can run with things. So it doesn't. Not all of it has ever fallen on me. So it's just got strong people that are, mm -hmm. and like the dog park itself was a community effort. You know, with all the meetings that we had and Paul's and Park was a community effort. So that's what really. And that's what Parks and Recreation is all about, building um, strong uh, communities for people, parks, and programs. So that's a big thing for us. This is a big commitment by the city of Rocky Mount. I mean, this fence alone is huge. And to have this resource available is really quite quite outstanding for the citizens who live in this area and, and people in outlying areas who want to come. I know people traveling up and down 95 will read about it and come and exercise their dogs here too, won't they? Yeah. They're, um, if they're traveling, there, there's a there's a website too that I mean you can go on to find dog parks and mm -hmm. I think I think people will look here if they're moving retirees and just you know the senior center director that's mm -hmm. one of my specialties so if they're looking here a place to go they're looking for dog parks and we got a we got a special special place here that they can come and it's a really big part of our community now and for people who have human children instead of dog <laughs> children the the city park was great mm -hmm. park that the Drop city has. It merry-go-rounds, splash parks, train. I mean, this whole area and leading into the mill, as you said, Alex, is just becoming a wonderful destination. And we, I've been talking to parents who live in the area and children who've moved to bigger metropolitan cities. Mm -hmm. And especially during holiday time, when they came home, they brought their dogs here. 
and they were either bringing them out to the park or grandma was bringing their dogs out to the mm -hmm. park. So I think, again, our adults that live here who have children that live other places, it's such a draw to get them back in here to visit mm -hmm. their parents. We saw a lot of that over the holidays. Well, and we want to repeat, on Saturday, April 9th from 10 to 2, you really need to come. And if you haven't met other dog owners, um, have friends because you know I know it's, as your kids grow up you develop friends with your kids friends or parents mm -hmm. so this is a, way, a great way to increase your pool of friends who are dog enthusiasts like you are so please come um, y'all will be here are you bringing both your dogs they will Good. they'll be here <laughs> <laughs> what about you you bring your dogs I will try. Dog? He'll try. My wife and I are leaving to go to a wedding that day afterwards. But so. okay, and your kids might bring kids. The kids will come. Good. They'll, they'll definitely be here. My three-year-old and my uh, she'll be seven months then, so they'll be here. Wonderful. Okay. Well, thank you, and thank you, and we'll see you right here on April 9th. Mm -hmm.